indicate yes. Okay. Um, presumably it's streaming. It says live. For, yeah, live for eight seconds. Okay, so this is the game brought to you by Cuck Free RPG. Um, we're going to play No Dignity in Death tonight. Uh, module for Lamentations of the Flame Princess. And uh, it should be a fun time tonight. Uh, the, for some reason, the, the order on the screen has changed. So I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves uh, from left to right. So, Austin, uh, if you want to introduce your character, tell us uh, tell us about who you'll be playing tonight. I'll be playing Jack Lovegrave. And fucking... <laughs> oh, God, what was it? Um, an apprentice monster hunter and hater of demi-humans. My teacher died and left me this filthy journal. That's it. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. So, uh, Apprentice Monster Hunter. <laughs> if your master died, would, are you still an apprentice? I have to finish his journal. <laughs> I love that you makes sense. I love that you told us about your character in the first person. <laughs> it helps him stay in character. <laughs> oh man, um, Chris, you want to tell us about your character? Uh, uh, Chris will be playing a robot tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he say beep boop bop boop? <laughs> he said beep boop bop. Is he a demi human? Now that sounds like Robot Pirate Island. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you couldn't understand anything I said. No, but you Not sound great. Thing. You Try sound great guess. now. Yes. You Unless yeah, you're saying boop, boop, bop, boop, <laughs> then no. My character, Lilith, who is a cleric, uh, going around trying to do the Lord's good work. There is no God. I'd right. have to convince him of that. You know that. <laughs> The Lord or a Lord? Or a gay Lord. <laughs> Shut up, love uh, gay. Potato, potato. Eh? <laughs> All right. I, I chose Jesus Christ as my, my Lord and Savior for this, as my cleric. Did you really? Let me find out. You've got the, uh, the, the rod. The of... rod. <laughs> Lord, lordly. The lordly rod. <laughs> uh, all right well uh i i look forward to hearing about it uh kyle okay and actually the lordly rod actually offends me so i i went with his anus i'm using jesus christ anus as a magic item oh what the so, so uh, anyway uh my character is lyric bless the bishop of a forgotten temple i'm a a cleric and just just ripely turned 30 I uh, I followed this temple for quite some time, and they were kind of shoving their their version of God down my throat. But I I believe myself to be the real right hand of God, and uh, I plan to enforce his his will uh, my own way. Awesome! I look forward to discovering what that way is. Oh. It's gonna be a spear up their ass. <laughs> Deus Volt. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a spear? Yes. <laughs> to the rod. Uh, yeah. I didn't say it earlier, but I am a fighter. <laughs> ah, perfect. So it's going to be Lilith and I keeping 
uh, the Jack alive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if Lilith follows the Lord and your deity is Jesus, like, are you both? Oh, no, God. Yeah. Are you both, like, Christian clerics? No, it's that's, like that's... Christian and Catholic. Yeah. Chris, Chris did, did you choose, like, God, like, Jehovah as your God, like, your deity? No. Uh, but Damn when it. I'm talking Lord, uh, my, my, no, no, my, my, uh, my, my deity, uh, deity is Dionysus. Oh, sick. Okay. Nice. All right. You said the you said the Lord, so I uh, <laughs> I believe yeah. one's mind could have gone, could have gone with I, Cthulhu. I, and do it. I always go Cthulhu in D and D. I'm always like fucking the great old one. Oh, uh, every time. Yeah. Yeah. My character's name is Nyarlahotep. <laughs> Nyarlahotep. <laughs> If, uh, if my god, if my god doesn't have some form of tentacles, I don't want it as my god. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the hence the hentai lord. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So, so bad and like nightmares. Right. <clears throat> drop drop us off in this town, man. Let's get this going. All right, you guys are in the town of Pergamore, and uh, who knows? You've been here for maybe a week or so. Uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, known each other, if you stayed here for different reasons and met each other, but uh, become fond of each other or we're already fond of each other, whichever way you guys want to play it. And uh, you've been doing odd jobs, uh, hunting monsters and vanquishing evil uh, around the shitty little town of Pergelmore and uh, you're running out of stuff to do and there's an old innkeeper here his name is Rufus he runs the handsome hog in and uh, it's your typical medieval European inn and uh, Rufus this fella he's a uh, white hair white beard uh old-timer find solace in polishing his drinks and uh, his hardwood tables not too often people stay here it's a pretty empty place so you guys have uh, gotten a pretty good price while you were staying here and uh, right now it's, uh, it's early evening maybe five o'clock um, the sun's on its descent down, and uh, y'all are in the common room, and uh, Rufus is cleaning up, and uh, you guys can talk to each other if you want. Absolutely. <clears throat> Friends, uh, I seem to be getting low on coin. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I have heard a rumor. The uh, the town of Pembrokeshire holds an evil, and I think we should vanquish it and charge them quite a pretty penny for it. Yeah, Rufus is. Thank you, robot. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus's ears have perked up at your conversation, and he looks at you through his bearded face, and uh, he says, Ah, Pembrokeshire, you say? Uh, there's uh, plenty of work to be had out there. I'd, I'd be careful, though. Uh, the entire town is under a terrible curse. I would stay away, but as anybody knows in these parts that the finest craftsmanship does come out of Pembertonshire. Almost like a Amish community, if you ask me. Uh, tables, cabinets, chairs. They make good stuff. And, well, them mountains, I'm sure you guys would find work. And he mumbles to himself a little bit and get the hell out of my damn inn with your weird witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good sir, this is the work of our Lord and Savior. This is not witchcraft. However, it seems that sin has befallen them. We must cleanse them of it. And charge them handsomely. Ah, yes, yes, that sounds like a noble quest you have there. I believe the, uh, the carriage here would probably take you up there if you paid him well enough. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little ways away out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, maybe it... Why don't you tell us more about this so-called curse? Uh, he looks at you inquisitively. It's a curse! I don't know what else there is. I don't I, I didn't cast the curse myself. I just, it's what I've heard. And there's been rumors of Pemberton Shire for uh, older than me. I've always enjoyed your company, Rufus. I know that uh, you would never do that to a town itself, but um, uh, I feel mm. that I fear this is the last night we will be here with you. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, that's, uh, I'm going to be sorry to hear that. I've missed your uh, copper coins hitting my bar every night. Yes, I, uh, for forgive me for the, uh, the lack of money and then the, the very large bar tab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it just, yeah, you'll make it up to me on your way back to, from Pembertonshire, I'm sure. Yes, if we come back this direction. Yeah. Well, let's hope you do, but, uh, you know, that old curse, uh, the last fellow that went off to Pembertonshire, I never saw him again. Hmm. Did he leave a bar tab? Well, uh, he wasn't as disrespectful as some folk. Very he, well. Uh, he polishes a glass and looks at it very, uh, very seriously. As uh, if not, I, I reach, I reach in my pocket and toss a gold coin on the counter for him, and I get up and start heading towards the door. Uh, the <laughs> roll a, roll a d twenty. Mm hmm. Yeah, you, Austin, Jack, Love, Grow. I'm doing it. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ah, well, he uh, catches the coin. You see him drop his cloth, and he snatches the coin out of the air. He says, ah, the first real money you lot have given me since you showed up here. And he puts it in his breast pocket. And he pats it down with his right hand and still holding the uh, the gleaming glass in his left hand. And uh, says, it might be a little late for you to uh, catch that carriage. Uh, maybe you could convince uh, him, but I... One more time. What was that, young dear? Your accent is so thick, it's hard to understand. <laughs> Your microphone's not picking anything up, Chris. Great. Oh, there we go. That's better. Ah, there you are, young lady. <laughs> I... I over to the bar and ask for how much to fill my whip on my water skin with wine. Uh, well, that depends on what kind of wine you want, but over here in Pogamore, we don't exactly have the good stuff. And uh, he sets the glass down on the bar and struts around it. And uh, he, he looks around a bit and shuffling some stuff, some bottles, clink and clack into each other and uh, he pulls out this dusty ass bottle and kind of wipes away the the label he says all right this will do i could probably let this go for and uh you see him think to himself for a moment and he says uh well you know yeah your tab is big enough as it is and it just wouldn't be right of me to try to pinch any more coin from you. You just remember me if you make it out of Pembertonshire. And he 
sets this dusty bottle down on the bar. You notice that the the cork in the top is deteriorating, and uh, it doesn't look good, but it's wine. I thank you for having me. Yeah, you catch him. Uh, you catch him oogling your uh, your boobs. I mean, and I'm used to it. I'm wearing a Catholic uniform. People are gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This is going so well. <laughs> yes, you uh, have a good trip, sister Lilith, ma'am. Whatever you do. <laughs> See a bead of sweat develop on his brow. <laughs> um, I'm going to this one. You say I'm big. This this is going into my water skin, though. It's, I'm not drinking. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he uh, he walks back around and gives uh, gives y'all pats on the shoulder and says, "Well, my inn here's your inn for the night. If you wish to stay here." Um, How far is the travel to Pembroke and Shire? Uh, about a about a day and a half from here. Mm. Well, how are we getting there? The carriage. I got tomorrow. It. I don't. I don't know about you. Well, yeah. Let us rest the night then. Uh, you rest, you talk to the carriage rider in the morning. I know he's gone out to those parts before. Excellent. Tomorrow we ride then. Yeah, and uh, so you guys climb the, the stairs up to your room. Um, the oil lamps from downstairs cast long shadows as you go to retire for the night. Um, in my room or whatever, I go and I start making notes about Pinbrictonshire. About a curse. And just what other, what, whatever information that we got from the uh, bartender that night. Yeah, yeah. Um, fantastic. I'm going to uh, uh, say a prayer to myself before uh, turning in. And also, uh, Chris, we get to prepare one one cleric spell. Um, I'd like to not do the same one that you do. Uh, <laughs> uh, do, you, do you plan on doing, like, your light wounds or anything like that? or? Mm -hmm. The uh, game. I can, yeah. Okay, you, if you do, no, we like can ask to each other. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. Ta they're talking uh, in the hallway. Well, uh, I'll uh, I'll just prepare like bless. I think that'll be all right. We'll bless Jack. How's that prepared? Uh, can I though tonight when? I get to my room, I would like to use uh, for my one spell for that would be for today would be purify food and drink. On the wine? On the wine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Doing some anti right. and then, yeah, shit. Yeah, from now on, uh... <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> Make sure he wasn't trying to uh, slip you yeah, something. Right, and then they, his, his real name's um, Jonathan, but they call him Rufy the Rufus. <laughs> yeah, Rufy, oh, Rufy Rufus. Uh, he's at it again. <laughs> rumor has it the uh, rumor has it the uh, inn was named after him, the handsome hog. I thought, <laughs> his name, 
glory form. Oh, the glory form. Yeah, that that adds up. <laughs> So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wine has been purified. It uh, pres presumably still looks the same. Uh, are you uh, transferring it to your wine skin tonight? Yeah, and then after that, I would start my prayer for and preparing for cure light wounds from going on currently okay cool cool uh kyle what's the uh what's the what's the prayer lyric says oh um uh the do oh yeah just just the old uh the old-fashioned uh Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Did you just rattle off Psalm 23 from memory? <laughs> no, I have, I have a, all my favorite, like, uh like chapters and shit like that like uh <laughs> copied and pasted onto my ipad <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> nice <laughs> i was i was about to be impressed that was good <laughs> no i'm not a complete virgin it would have been even better if you would have uh done it for like the verse from that rap song gangsta's paradise yes <laughs> i do know all of that by heart <laughs> I know the Weird Al version, not not the Coolio version, unfortunately. Yeah, Am Amish Paradise, yes, yeah, so that's a good one. Oh, I know the Mr. Bond version, too. I've never heard that. Oh, bro, it's brutal. It's brutal. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well hell yeah. Yeah, free Mr. Bond, that's my one shout-out. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, I, you guys retire for the evening. Yeah. Um, I imagine you guys like making the sign of the cross or well, his deities Dionysus. I imagine you making the sign of the cross. Yep. I uh I kinda cheaped out on my holy symbol. I went wood and <laughs> instead of silver. <laughs> this is cheaper. No. So, yeah, I'll just, I, I, I kiss my wooden symbol. My wooden holy symbol. Awesome. They're gonna love you in Pemberton Shire. Yeah. Perfect. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Turn my wife into a my wooden goblet, which would be my holy. Your holy symbol. My symbol. Yes. Yes, and uh, yeah, you guys just you lay in your uh, your shitty handsome hog beds. That I imagine they're like stuffed with hay and probably itchy and uncomfortable. Um, but you got them at a good price and you drift off to dreams of, uh, what the future holds and remembering your, uh, your fun adventures here in the, uh, the little town of Purglemore. <laughs> um, the sun comes up and the, uh, eldritch cock crows in the distance. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you uh, you hear the the mighty rooster crow, um, and uh, you begin your days however you please. I get up and say, "One day I will choke that chicken." <laughs> <laughs> I will get up and drink me another glass of wine. You guys have got to have brought Jack along to try to proselytize him, no doubt. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we we plan to save him one way or another. And and my my character doesn't even care if he goes like like Christian or towards the Dionysus. Like he just he just wants him to be saved. Get get his head out of the old bestiary. <laughs> yes, and 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 into a good, well written Bible. There's some literature for you. 
Yeah, and this is... Um... All I care about is what I can kill with holy water. <laughs> this is like Eight. 18th century uh, in some form or another of the real world in a way. Uh, so the Bible does exist, absolutely. If if we uh, if there's like a, a Christian church at the Pembroke Nation Shire, like in the area, I, we can make holy water there. Uh, you know, in the in the old cat, do you have holy water? I uh, actually let me check my actual. Here we go. I th I think I bought it, but I, oh, yes, I did. I did buy the holy water. Cool. And uh, I didn't it, buy anything. Need more. Except the book. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's we, probably why you have more money than the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, his character. <laughs> no, I, I, bought a, I bought a gun. His character. His character is wearing sackcloth clothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I have leather clothing. He's 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 day one, seven days to die. Park survival. <laughs> like, have, have you seen? Uh, have you played Bloodborne? Yeah. Imagine Father Gascon. Oh, okay. Except um, without the werewolf. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Van Helsing looking motherfucker. Yes. Well. Um in Catholic tradition, uh holy water makes more holy water. Oh uh, perfect. Like I can I can pour like pour half of it into something else and then it contaminates it to holy water no matter what it is. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. poured in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, like if you have oh. uh yeah, if you have holy water, you can pour it into water and make that water holy water. So kind of like using a candle to light other candles. Small, could you take a small amount of holy water and pour it into the ocean and bless the entire ocean? I, 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 I don't know. That's that's probably a, a question for a, a priest. Yeah, it's probably written about in the code of canon law somewhere. Yeah, it's probably like a like a per ounce like square foot thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's like, there's like a what's whole the, like what's, uh, what's, formula what's the for it. What's mathematical solution before the holiness gets diluted? <laughs> yeah, somebody's figured it out. So <laughs> yeah, the sun rises. Uh, and it's a it's a beautiful day in in Purglemore. In the neighborhood. Yeah, the uh, the inn is quiet, and uh, you guys are you guys are free to to do what you will. Well, uh... Question: go... Yeah, I... would my uh, holy water be my my wine? Um, I I don't know. Uh, you. I if you Is if, that, was Dionysus the wine god of partying? Is that yes. <laughs> then it would make sense. I'll allow it. I'm a generous god. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one. <laughs> there's one generous god. <laughs> um, I'm practicing in my room my draw on my flintlock. And my swings of my butcher knife just rises at dawn. Just drawing and redrawing your pistol. Yeah. Do, doing little like flip tricks with it, like spinning it around your finger and shit. I don't even care if I don't have a pack to my name. This pistol was worth every penny. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, go get and feed my horse. Horse? You, you, guys, horse? you guys have horses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a horse. <laughs> my horse. The basics. I don't even have armor. <laughs> <laughs> we were giving Jack shit about fucking like, spending all of his money, but really it was Lilith. <laughs> uh, oh, for, I, I no, no, everything, but 
<laughs> I wonder her vestments are so revealing. <laughs> yeah. I rolled really well on my money. <laughs> your, your face when you realize what Dionysus is the god of. <laughs> Sluttiness. <laughs> Lilith looks at, I don't know how y'all are getting to Pemberton Shire. I'll tell you how I'm getting there. <laughs> oh. I quickly stab uh, But I will. <laughs> I can just, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, I said, I'm taking my new horse. Oh. I, uh, I do need to speak with Rufus to see if uh, our carriage is ready. All right. Yeah, you find Rufus uh, behind the bar. You walk across the uh, the old wooden planks of the floor, and dust comes up around your shoes, and is shown in the beams of sunlight coming in from the old inn windows. And Rufus, damn it, Rufus, sweep the floor. I'm too busy polishing my glasses. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did notice that you have so few patrons, but yet you're always cleaning glasses. Hey, don't worry about my glasses, okay? <laughs> I, have, I have somewhere you know in my journal about a, a curse called OCD. <laughs> well, maybe if I didn't have such dirty patrons, there wouldn't be so much dust in the air. I wouldn't have to yeah. polish my glasses Lilith. so much. Valid point. However, <laughs> is our is our carriage ready? Why? Well, I, I told you you were gonna have to go talk to the carriage master. <sighs> you expect me to <laughs> rise at rise at dawn and go find Scotty myself and tell him about your journey? But no, I. <laughs> I well, thought no, about so... saying something, but stupid is as stupid does, and I just wanted to see where they went. You know, you know, someone's got to stay here and polish all these glasses. I, I get it. Uh, <laughs> let, let me go find Scotty. Yeah, Maybe no. your gods will lead you to the carriage. Yeah, you see, you see Rufus make the sign of the cross as well. <clears throat> Peace be with you, brother. Uh, and with your spirit. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I will uh, traverse outside to try to find Scotty. Yeah, you know that uh, Pergamore is a tiny-ass little uh, ho-dunk place. You're lucky to have found the week's worth of odd jobs that you have. Um, and, uh, yeah, you find uh, you find old Scotty wearing his uh, coverall clothing, his uh, straw-brimmed hat, his bleach-blonde hair from the sun. My friend, is the carriage prepared? Oh, my carriage? Uh, yeah, it's about getting there. Uh, just feeding the old horses. Uh, were you hoping to go somewhere? Yes. Pinbrook and Shire. What was that? Pinbrook and Shire, if you can. Oh, Pembroke and Shire. Uh, they've got the best apple wine, I... Haven't been over there in a long time, but, uh... I'm good. That's what? <laughs> quite a... It's quite a trip. Uh, maybe take about a whole day to get out there. We we're prepared. Is there anything we can do to, uh... Hasten this situation? Can we um, help um, you feed the horses, or... Ah, uh, well... Any... All right. I just got to grab a couple horses. They would get the carriage ready. We'll take the big one. I assume you have the coin to pay for this trip. I uh, yeah. I turn and look at Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just shake my head. How much? Yeah, I probably do it for about a gold. Oh, shit. I, I flip it. I flick it to him. <laughs> yeah. It it falls to the ground in the, the dirt in front of his feet. A little dirt cloud appears from the weight of the gold. He bends over and 
picks it up. There's no reason to be rude. I'm two days journey ahead of me, but I appreciate the payment. And he tucks it away. And... I'm, I'm looking at this conversion table and he's a, he's kind of a steep carriage. <laughs> 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 that's all right that's all right I, i'm convinced that he can make the trip in a day and a half well, it's not like you had to <laughs> you, you know what if, if it was 20 silver i could have done it <laughs> i gotta go all the way out to the mountains for y'all and you probably haven't heard the same type of rumors i've heard about pembertonshire i dare never stay when i head out that way i just uh Go ahead and drop people off, and they're not hang around too long. There's queer folk out that way. Have you uh, have you heard in any of the conversation from the people that you've taken in there? Have they told you anything of of the area? Well, concerning. They, they say, uh, oh, concerning. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. They say don't go into the hills at night. That's that's something I've heard. And that, and I've also heard that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very mountainous, hilly region. Uh, dragon or something. Dragon, you say? Yeah, in the mountains. Uh, don't know anybody that's ever seen it. <laughs> that's that's the concerning news I was uh, hoping to hear. That's that's what I was asking for. Yes. Game master, I have a question. Referee. With my yeah, grandfather of, of with my grandfather building the cabin in the mountains, what, could he have known of the dragon and passed it down to me? No, no one even believes your story. Oh, <laughs> I I believe you. <laughs> Just like the I... Lord believes you. <laughs> Believes my grandfather helped build a cabin in a mountain. <laughs> yeah. That's so unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus built a house on the on the top of a hill. Yeah, let, let, sit down. Let me tell you about the uh, about the house built uh, on solid foundation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the man who built his house upon the sand. So, uh, yes. I know it's steep, but, uh, you know, there uh, ain't much work out here in Pembertonshire, or in Pergamore, as you've seen yourself. Uh, well, I'm not trying to get eaten up by a dragon, whether it be true or not, but I'll happily take some folk out there for the right price, and it uh, looks like you've given it to me. Uh, luckily, you're in a... Reluctantly, w wealthy company, <laughs> and you see him. You see him uh, admiring your pistol <laughs> and the horse. Uh, I, I just put my hand on it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, old Scotty here. He uh, adjusts his straw brimmed hat with both hands and. Uh, Starts gathering up the uh, the two horses he's picking for the trip, and uh, starts atta attaching them to the uh, the carriage. You said I'm looking at the conversion right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he probably would have haggled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just said, "Here you go, here." Yeah, one gold. I, you know, when you have a lot of money, that's how you handle it. You know, you're just like, you know, you don't give a fuck with the prices. As long as you have the money, you're like, "Yeah, go." You know, <laughs> if you're you're thirty silver short of a of a coach ride. Then yeah, you probably should haggle. That's so true, though. When you've got the money, it's like, oh fuck it. Yeah, I give a fuck. Sure, I have like, give a over a hundred gold or something. You've got over a hundred gold. Yeah, uh, your wealth should have been rolled on silver. Well, was it rolled on silver? Yeah, it should, it should be rolled on silver. But every every fifty silver is one gold piece. 
Yeah, uh, Jack, you, you look down into your pouch and realize you flipped him your last gold coin. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> That's all right. There will be there will be work. I bet I bet they pay us handsomely for killing this dragon. I'm not good at math. <laughs> I'm good at killing. For the out of here. Yeah. So, uh, very good at killing. With a little giddy up, uh, Scotty uh, pulls around the hoofs clank and dirt and dust kick up around you. Uh, Lilith, are you going to be riding alongside the the carriage? Yeah, behind or what have you? Uh, like. Probably to the left side. All right, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys climb up into the carriage, I assume. Yeah. All right, I sit next to the, uh, to Scotty. Oh, up in the front? Yeah, I want to see if anything happens or anything pops up uh, if anything pops up yeah like a dragon ah <laughs> it's a funny nickname for it <laughs> yeah for Scotty's dick <laughs> <laughs> you see how much have you run that Go for real, boy. Scotty inches uh, inches away from you ever so slightly along the bench. And uh, you notice as you climb in that it's a pretty shitty carriage for the uh, the amount that you paid. There's like hay and shit in the back. and uh... Look, he's got a whole bed back here. <laughs> he says, uh, get up! And he... Tosses the reins and uh, the horses get to clopping along. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. And the chains jingle and jangle. And uh, you guys are on your way, leaving the, uh, the fantastic town of Purglemore behind you. Uh, Scotty, are there any towns between here and Pembrokenshire? Well, Pembrokenshire is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's surrounded in hilly, green land, and flanked by mountains. And uh, no, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be taking the scenic route. Mm. Don't worry though. When he he pats a sack that he's got down by his feet. He says, "I've got provisions. It's a long ride." And uh, if we are assaulted by marauders. Uh, what do you plan to do? Hey, well, I plan to tuck my head between my legs and let you handsome folk take care of it. Uh, okay. I was just wondering. I have got the, uh, I've got the coachman next to me and he pats the leg of Jack. <laughs> you take care of the marauders with your fancy pistol you got there. Don't talk about Sally. Great. Oh, all right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you guys giddy up along, and uh, yeah, he just makes casual conversation with you throughout the trip. The sun is beating down on you guys. You're hot, sweaty. Lilith, are you, uh, is your, your hat it black? Yes. Yeah, you're sweating. You're sweating, boy, in that hot European sun. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, avert my eyes from Lilith out of respect <laughs> of my lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, uh, Anything? Uh, whoa! I did. Uh, I think I did Rufus's voice there. Uh, so, what's brought you all uh, to Pemberton Shire anyway? Uh, 
Well, <laughs> our friend Jack here uh, needs to slay a dragon, actually, now that you mention it. And uh, in doing so, I plan to teach him the ways of the Lord. He will be saved. That's just another myth. Uh, now, now I won't be having any heresy in my carriage. <laughs> I, say, I say for a whole gold, you'll have whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> All right, now, now. <laughs> Jack's got to earn some of that coin back. <laughs> I, I pay for my mouth. Now, that, that's the cost. Oh, sure, uh, Jack. Uh, when, you're, uh, when, you're, when you were a boy, your, your, your grandfather, he, uh, he would... Every now and again, it wasn't often, but he'd he'd mention uh, he'd mention that dragon, and you always wanted to know more. Maybe that uh, maybe that started your interest in uh, this whole uh, cryptology or whatever it is, cryptidology, cryptozoology, cryptozoology, monster. Hunt. So yeah, you would have uh, you would have heard about that dragon growing up. Okay, so it's it's more than probably just a myth to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're uh, you're aware. You've heard of it. Maybe your uh, maybe your uh, your dead master might have talked about dragons at some point. <coughs> Can I roll for knowledge about dragons? Uh, let's see here. Knowledge of dragons. I have a, a thin rule book here, but uh, I guess that would just be like a uh, an intelligence roll. Okay, uh, this is a D twenty. Yes. Seventeen again. All right, you uh, you are familiar. With dragons. Um, I they, inform the rest. I inform the rest of the group of my knowledge of dragons from Grandpapa. Yeah, so uh, he tells you guys that uh, his grandpa built a house out there in the hills and. That was uh there was a dragon that lived in them hills. We uh, so much knowledge. <laughs> what? Father your father grander. Okay then. Is he bringing it for anybody else? Yeah, yeah, it's it's tough to hear him. Okay. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Uh, just something. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough. Yeah, I have no idea what you said. Your dad or your grandfather? That uh, my, my grandfather. Grandfather. Okay. Got to be familiar with things. What? I'm signal over here. Yeah, I, I, I hear you losing signal. But yeah, you guys, uh, you ride on, um, and literally nothing eventful happens. It's, uh, green pastures there's like sheep in the land and uh 
birds flying in the air. You're following just a an old winding dirt path. Um, you're way out there. Uh, old Scotty wasn't joking around. Uh, there seems to be several forks that uh, go off this way and that, and uh, you you uh, you hope he knows where he's going because uh, you've taken quite a few turns uh, way out there in the back country. Uh, but he seems confident in his direction, never quite questioning whether or not he's going the right direction. Take me home, country road. Is that an old folk song you're singing? <laughs> West Virginia. Denver. Virginia. What? It's over there in that new Bye. world. <laughs> It's, it's a story told by the greatest man, John Denver. I'm not familiar with him. He's from Denver. Ah, queer place that must be. <laughs> Kyle, you having any any better luck with your mic? That's a no. That's that's a no. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I could say this is probably a high point in traffic on the internet bandwidth. Yeah, we can uh, say you guys, uh, you guys, uh, you stopped, built a fire slept in the carriage or in your rolls and uh again you're out in just a beautiful beautiful english type moors and uh the morning comes and uh you continue on and uh you're lucky enough to leave pretty early and uh Carriage stops and Scotty, you see big looming mountains in the distance. You've noticed them getting bigger and bigger uh, for a while, but you you see them pretty clear now. And Scotty tells you, well, yeah, and without about a mile of uh, old Pemberton Shire, you just uh, go on down this path here. It'll take you the rest of the way. Uh, I, uh, I dare not go any closer myself. This is the end of the road for me. Uh, them Pemberton Shirens, they're, uh, they're not too fond of outsiders, I'll tell you that much. Uh, so, uh, I don't want to be harassed by that constable. So, uh, you enjoy your journey. It's been great getting to know you guys. And, uh, well, if you have a back in Pergamore, I'd happily give you guys a ride anywhere you want to. If you keep paying me as good as you have. He said he'd love to keep ripping us off. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I've just pretty much, I've just pretty much treated Scotty like shit this entire trip, though. He's like, I got my money's worth out of him. Right. You you you, you see him. Uh, you you see him rubbing the uh, the outline of a gold coin from his pack. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make himself feel better. <laughs> Oh, that's that. Well, that's... Scotty, um, go be with God, and we will uh, hopefully see you again someday. Ah, yes. Well, one day, I I hope to be. We could all be so lucky. And uh, you, you boy, he looks at you, Jack. He says, uh, he says, I I know you've had a troubled life. Uh, only such a Troubled life could bring such troubled thoughts. But, uh, you know, the Lord is up there, and he's watching over you all the time. You just consider him from time to time, and he'll take care of you. I said I don't like being watched. (laughs) Well, that's probably the idea of it. 
I'm I'm gonna dismount the carriage. All right, you what, what, like a gymnast. <laughs> yeah, an acrobatics check. <laughs> uh, only joking. <laughs> uh, I'm totally about to roll it. <laughs> falls on face, dies. Roll I your fall character. right in, like face first into horse shit. You yeah. fall face first into my life. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. What is it like? A it's like a cleaver. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, do you have the uh, the the fold out blade from fucking Bloodborne? No, just a big ass cleaver. Oh. Like a like a like a butcher knife. I, I imagine it having like the uh, the yep. hole up in the uh, the top corner. Yeah. Pretty legit. It also doubles as like a kitchen knife, so. Yeah, if you ever want to find. Yeah, if you can't kill the dragon, Jack's gonna have a, a good resume down at the uh, the butcher shop. He can uh, he can earn some earn some coin uh, yeah. chopping meat. Oh, yeah. uh, so he that uh, ball out. Song, chop and back and how's it going? Chop and me, back and chop and back. So something like that. He's a psychopath. Jack, he gets uh, like they found him. Chop. You guys are like you're lucky. Rufus didn't see how much you pay, you paid. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus would be like, "What the fuck?" Back to do. Um, whenever, whenever I get a gold, I give it to anybody who asks. You stayed with him for a, stayed with him for a week, eating and drinking for a grand total of like twenty five coppers. <laughs> I just, Hell I yeah. just do not understand the value of money whatsoever. <laughs> what is this? Yellow coin, get there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last one I got, but here you go. <laughs> I didn't know it was my last one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had 175 of those. <laughs> <laughs> or is it two? I can't count. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's three and a quarter, 175. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have one more. <laughs> well, if, if if yeah, if that's accurate, should you have one more? I could have I mean, swore uh, I, I could have swore I rolled like 175. If it was silver, then yeah, it'd be 175 silver, which is uh, three three and a quarter uh, gold, but. Also, your uh, yeah, your, your bought, leather armor. You bought the leather pistol, armor. the leather armor. The... <laughs> let's, yeah. let's say I let's say I have twenty silver left. Does that sound fair? <laughs> That's what I have left. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. F f fair enough. <laughs> no, I, I'm I... over here mathing terribly. <laughs> <laughs> How many souls do I get? I'm killing people. Is that currency in this land? Well, let's just say you got it rural, rurally. So the pistol was uh, the pistol was fifty silver. Yeah. I think so. So between the pistol and I mean, your leather, you you'd have two gold coins left. The uh, the medium the medium weapon. What is that? Uh, rurally was another 50 SP. Oh, so I'm broke. <laughs> the, the, the rural... Well, it was maybe you had the armor. You had, you had the armor and you got it for 25. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, and then we'll say yeah, you managed to, you managed to come up with some extra funds doing the odd jobs around Purglemore. So I'll say, what, 20 silver? Yeah, tw 20 yeah. silver. That, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a lot. 
<laughs> Gold is nothing to me. But silver... <laughs> silver can kill fairies. Hey, hey, I will not have any of that bigotry in my game. <laughs> <laughs> not those fairies, you fairy. <laughs> The uh, fairies, fairy. Fairly odd parents. Timmy was an average boy. I'm going to uh, see if I can scope out the constable from from the front of this uh, town. No, and you're you you're like you're, you're about you're about a you're about a mile off. Uh, so you you've got a little ways to go before uh, for a. You didn't know he had hawkers. <laughs> I, I don't have Hawkeyes. In fact, I have less than twenty twenty vision. <laughs> do you do you wear uh, do you wear glasses? No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Those, <laughs> those, <laughs> those devil lenses. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The Lord is my eyes. <laughs> the, the Lord, the Lord is my eyes, and He is also my ears, and also my walking stick. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, wow. um, Scotty, uh, Scotty's making his merry way uh, back down the path the other way, and uh, Jack, you notice him. You notice him flip a, a coin in the air. The uh, the golden yellow glint in the sun catches it, and uh, he catches. It. You see him kiss it and stuff it back into his sack. I write me hopes that a journal. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys owe. Uh, I think you guys owe. I think you guys owe Jack a big thank you. <laughs> Why? I have a horse. <laughs> yeah. Well, he he led you the way. It might have been pretty difficult to find this place otherwise. They're uh, uh, secretive I put, folk. I put my flintlock to the horse's head. <laughs> Now, now. I'm kidding. I didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, we had an action, then you erased it. Now we have no action. So, <laughs> real fun. Real fun, Jack. No, uh, so yeah, you guys are on this, uh, you're on this dirt path. You see, uh, this large mountain range in the back behind you, rolling hills all around. Um, Where are they rolling to? The middle of nowhere. Mm. So I, I assume, uh, Kyle, you're uh, you're gonna head that way then, looking for the uh, the old constable. Yeah. All right. So, um, what are what are you armed with, Kyle? Uh, I have a short bow. Uh, that's uh, that's that's my main weapon. But uh, if things get see and I gotta get close quarters, I I have a spear. All right, so uh, it's pretty hard to hide a spear, and uh, you wearing for armor? Absolutely. Leather. All right. I I had to go really cheap. Everything. Okay, and uh. Lilith, do you have any uh, visible weaponry? I also have a spear. A spear. All right. All right. So yeah, you guys, you you, you head down there, and the sun's sun's picking up. It's starting to rise and become hot in the day. And uh, hanging around toward the uh, the uh, the town, you notice. Um, what looks to be probably a, uh, a police headquarters of sorts. Uh, where you might find a, a, a constable in the, uh, the beginning of town. Just see a, uh, a, like a, a long red brick building uh, one story uh, thatched roof and um, 
oaken door. Okay. Uh, I do remember them saying that, uh, like, e even even though like I'm I'm human, I'm not a a demi type or anything like that they still will be kind of like leery of me and i'll never really be like one of them even if i'm here for like 10 years D uh, do i notice anybody like kind of eyeballing us no no uh you see some people tilling tilling fields and stuff uh working in their yards uh you know it's a pretty big pretty big city uh it's a pretty big place uh you're pretty impressed especially after staying in hodunk Pergelmore for the last week uh this looks nice nice houses nice uh nice place and uh yeah as you guys come up to this uh oh yeah but just to to double back to what you were saying uh your your children's children even if you married in pembertonshire your children's children would still be considered outsiders Bud, bud. Fucking off. Oh, yeah. So, uh, look, look at, looking at how nice everything is, I, uh, I can only assume everything's going to be really expensive. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's the, the finest craftsmanship in the land. Uh, Don't look at me. <laughs> um, and as you, uh, as you pass this building, uh, you see a, uh, a smaller, Fella, he comes out and uh, he, he's waving his, his finger around. He says, hey, stop right there! Stop right there! Uh, who who are you three? Uh, I'm gonna put my hand up, uh, and just kind of like in a non-threatening passion, I guess. <laughs> just like, good morrow. We uh, we hear this town is under some troubles. We've come to uh, offer our services. I don't know how you would have heard about any of our troubles that we have going on. Uh, but, yes, how are you? Uh, some sort of traveling clergy? Monster. <laughs> I, look at, I, I look at Lilith. <laughs> like, hey, huh. Conflicting ideologies here. Do you... Missionaries or, missionaries or something? And... This guy, he's uh, he's got kind of a long face, uh, high cheekbones. looks looks pretty young. Uh, you don't imagine how he could be the the constable. I but, say, I say, we're monster hunters. Ah, the only monsters I think that are going to be in town is you. But yeah. Yeah, there's definitely trouble. Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, there's damn gypsies. I never should have let them into town. Uh, yeah, there's trouble for sure. Um, but uh, we definitely don't need any more trouble. And uh, he looks. Uh, he looks to your Jack. He sees your 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 gun. Your uh, your is your cleaver visible? Is that like? It's hidden behind my like trench coat. <laughs> uh, we we definitely don't want any more trouble. I am acting lead constable in town right now, and I've got enough problems as it is. I'm over my head, but that's none of your concern. Uh, the I'm not with these two. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, if you, uh, you leave the, leave the spear, you can put the spear here in the, in, it'll be kept safe. Uh, you see him kind of starting to sweat. He, he's, uh, he wasn't anticipating any, any other people coming, especially ones that are armed in such fashion. Uh, yeah, the, the, the armor, the leather armor, the, the combat gear, you'll, you, you guys can you just go ahead and leave that here in the, in the, the, in the building. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you, you be, you'd be fine, I suppose, uh, to go ahead and go forward into town. I'm like, no, <laughs> Uh, uh, all, so he, he spear. Wants all of our weapons and armor. Yeah, yeah, your weapon, your weapons and armor. Yep, absolutely. I I turn it all over. Ah, uh -huh. you you see him smile in relief. Uh, 
Thank you, thank you, sir. What was your name? Lyric. Lyric, Lyric. That's a, that's a mighty fine name. Uh, thank you, thank you. He bundles it up. He he takes your your spear and whatnot and goes on in there and stows it away. Uh, you other two, you offer up your uh, your your weapons and armor freely. Well, my armor yeah. or my clothes, so. <laughs> <laughs> you you should have like uh like uh common clothes uh, like mm. s standard you know yeah you've got common clothes uh, I'll give you that oh, okay. all right well yeah I take the trench coat violent cleaver <laughs> I and picture I'm starting to like sliced up <laughs> yeah you yeah. See yeah, Peter. Peter looks the uh, the cleaver over in his hands as you hand it to him. Monster, monster hunters. He mumbles to himself. God, damned it all! And he he brings it in there. He he puts your weapons armor up. He says, uh, "These will be safe here. Don't worry. I'll take good care of them." But uh, you know, the whole. Murder and everything that's happened last night. I just, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, did, he, did he say murder? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, there, there was a murder. Uh, uh, I don't mean to intrude. Yeah, he'd rather uh, not but... have us be able to defend ourselves. <laughs> I would. No, I, I, I've, I've probably already well, said too much. Have armor. I've yes. probably already said too much, and for, yeah, for good reason. Yeah, you, you don't need yeah, armor I'm, in Pembertonshire. Uh, person might not be I, dead if they had armor. <clears throat> I believe that removing our weapons removes us as uh, assailants. We can we cannot murder anybody without weapons. Yep, yep. You can't but, murder anybody with armor either. Yeah, the night the night of science has has rounded up the culprits. Uh, don't don't you worry. We we know darn well who did this. Um, but yes, I've I've said yeah, I've said too I've said too much. Uh, it's of no concern of yours. Uh, now there are uh, there are several inns and pubs here in town, but uh, the only one that uh, I'd recommend you. A lot going to would be the last stop. It says it with a hard P. The last stop. Uh, there, there, there'll be the only, uh, the only inn that'll, uh, that'll uh, take you. I would assume uh, the innkeeper's name is Eddie, Eddie Diggle, and his wife Bertha. Uh, good folk, good folk. Uh, I, that's uh. <laughs> What's that? What did you say his last name was? Diggle. D I G G L E. Eddie Diggle. Old Eddie. He's a good one. Oh, you said Diddle. Yeah. No. Yeah. Old Eddie Diddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to diddle. Yes. Uh, Peter, before before we leave you, um, will the uh, the accused have a trial? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, uh, the the knight of science is in town, and uh, he's rounded them up. I do believe that uh, in four days' time they will be burned at the stake. Four days. Yep, yeah, burned at the yeah, stake. Those fine. gypsy scum, foreign bastards. Never should have even let them into Pembertonshire. You could see him getting frustrated. Yes, yeah, burned at the stake. Burned at the stake. <laughs> Well. Build a big uh, pyre, Peter, big you, pyre. You, you seem very stressed out. I think you should, the, uh, you should the, go have a seat. Yeah, the 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 children, you know, those kids, they'll be burned at the stake, and uh, the old woman, the old gypsy witch, she'll be burned at the stake, and uh, the the husband and wife, those two, they'll be burned at the stake, and he's right. Yeah, and then of course the murderer, he'll be burned at the stake. Uh, all of them, yep, they, they will all be burned at the stake for their involvement in the the murder of Jessica, the poor bride. Jessica. 
But I, I've said too, um, but he, he realizes he, he should have shut up a while ago. You just go, go. He's pointing. He says, I will not have... When he's the at the last stop. Yes, the last stop. It's in the middle of town. You just... Thank you for your cooperation. Let, let us get out of, let us get uh, out of your hair. I'm mumbling while writing in my notebook, Jessica the Bride. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Jessica the Bride, that's what he said. Uh, burned at the stake. Yeah, burned. He just, right. got everything he just did, said too much about. I, I want to go to the um, to, to the last stop, and I, I want to start questioning people about this trial and see if they're even going to have a trial, if it's going to be fair, or if they're just like, nope, we're burning these motherfuckers. <laughs> you, you, no, you, 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 all, you, yeah, you can already tell that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the trial is going to be a, them <laughs> saying that they're going to burn them. <laughs> yeah, they they have no uh, they have no legal defense or anything like that. They're not going to get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it! Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure we can uh, intercept this <laughs> somehow. We need to we need to talk to some motherfuckers. Disgusting gypsies. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go to the bar and get a bottle of wine. To where? I'm going to go to the bar and get a bottle of wine. All right, yeah. So um, as you make your way through town, you notice uh, Pemberton Shirens covering their, their, the sides of their mouth and whispering to each other and sniggering. <laughs> there you see them looking out the side of their eyes at you. Um, and you, uh, you make your way down to uh, the... The modest in the the last stop. It looks nice, a lot nicer than the uh, the handsome hog. Uh, this place looks looks pretty well. There's a horse trough right there in front of the place. Uh, looks real good. Um, Did uh, they take our horse too? No, you've got you've got the <laughs> our horse. Oh, horse can do more damage than armor. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you guys, uh, you you end up at the uh, you end up at the last stop, and uh, it's real real clean, real nice looking place. There's a, uh, a big sign uh, written in words too. The last stop. You notice oh. that. To, you notice that to be a rarity. There's. It was spelled incorrectly. <laughs> It isn't spelled incorrectly. Yeah, the last stop. Yeah. Um, if uh, they have a level of education to them, <laughs> they have a level of it. It just doesn't have to be pictures and oh, stop sign. Man, uh, the handsome hog was just a pig with lipstick on it. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> <I'm top hat. laughs> um, so, um. Uh, if it's uh, if it, if it's cool with you guys, uh, can we? Uh, you mind if we uh, we wrap it up? If we wrap it up here, I. Uh, uh, no, absolutely. Fine. I'm good. Yeah. That. Cool. Cool. I have to get up at four a.m. Four a.m. Dude, if I had to get up at four a.m., I gotta I would... be up at the ass crack of noon. <laughs> the ass crack of noon. Uh, yeah, I. Uh... Four, I got to uh, go be at work by six. So really, you've got to be up at like 5.30? No, i got to be up at four because i got to go take medicine. Ah, uh, yes. The old medicine. Oh, look at that. No, to keep him from turning into a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> the, to, to keep the beast... Judaism inside. Oh, yeah, you don't turn into a werewolf. <laughs> no, I turned into a werewolf. Uh, My yeah. girlfriend doesn't believe Jewish. in uh, any kind of any kind of lycanthropy that isn't a wolf. She doesn't think that there's a werebear. Oh man, the the were owl. Uh, what what were about the werehouse? Like, like 
the warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Those are the most, those every full every full moon, like a stair set, like plies out of your stomach, and then you like turn and like just start creaking wood, turn into a house. You wake up in the morning and you're like you're in a field, <laughs> butt naked, <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> butt naked. Your <laughs> ass is your <laughs> ass is <laughs> gaped. <laughs> Feel like... I feel like somebody's been using my back door. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I, uh, I, I, uh, I hope you guys had a had a good time. Uh... Well, we'll definitely get in the swing of things next time as well. We we kind of you know that was kind of get getting to know it for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah. thought it, I thought it was I thought it was fun. A good uh, good introduction, and uh, I look forward to like you guys. Being fucking asshole. <laughs> Oh man, the... Get, getting the role, the knocking the dust off of the role playing. Yeah, for know, sure. This is the, my uh, the, the improv. I don't think like, that, yeah. Like clerics. yeah, I haven't. Uh, I haven't ran. I haven't ran a game on this channel. It's been about six years. Man, no. I've, I used to. I ran games for Chris for a long time ago, and he would like would not hesitate to like fuck anything I put in front of him. It would just be like like here's an abolith and he's like, I'm gonna fuck it and I'm like, I'm like okay. <laughs> and it was like I was like it Chris we can't do this. Yeah. You said I'm gonna try yeah. you said I'm gonna try something different this game and some new people and uh yeah, I'm, just... <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> he's 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 playing a female so he's kind of uh took taken away his own weapon like, so I was like, oh there we go. <laughs> Now he's like, they're gonna fuck me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like no one wants to fuck him, so he fucks the doorknob. Oh god, can't get the door open, just fuck the doorknob. Ye old doorknob. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 uh, I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys, uh, yeah, Kyle, I love it. Oh, yeah. you, I love that you had your book on hand and uh, commented on the the price of <laughs> that. <laughs> Exactly the type of uh, exactly the type of inside jokes I hoped that we would develop. <laughs> yeah, I, I cracked that bitch open real quick. I was like, "One gold? That's a little long. Oh, That's deep as it not." One gold in Pergamore? In D and D. In D and D, that keep throwing gold at people. A lot. Oh my god! I know these exchange rates are crazy. Awesome. Little do you guys know, yeah. I'm the asshole well, Robin yeah. Hood. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, still, still from the rich and keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so yeah, if you guys, uh, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to play uh, next week, I'm all for it. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm super interested in a murder mystery. That's that's right up my alley. I like that shit. So yeah, yeah, cool. I, I'm only interested in this cabin. cabin. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of interested in that too. I hope. Oh, real. oh nope. the cabin in the mountains. I thought you were talking about your incident just the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the cabin is a warehouse. How how fucking incredible would that be? I'm like, ha, oh, in your face, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> the warehouse right here. <laughs> what about where to start? <laughs> and where rats and where cats. Are where uh, bass vampires? Or are they different though? <clears throat> Well, all right, guys. I, uh, I, I, I do gotta, I do gotta run. I've actually kind of got an emergency going on. You gotta take Rock a poopy, man. You guys take it easy. No, my, my blood sugar's low as fuck. Like I'm sweating through my shirt. My hand is shaking. Oh, <laughs> bad boy, go, go get some food. You take it. You guys take it easy. I'm, I'm heading out. All right, love you, Kyle. All right, yeah, love you. All right, Chris. Good to meet you. And uh, Austin, thanks for making it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a blast.